Good evening. NHS patients with mental health problems are to be treated by virtual reality therapists in a new project. Experts in Oxford are embarking on a multi-million pound trial to see whether people with severe mental health conditions like schizophrenia and who have difficulties being in everyday social situations would benefit from experiencing life in a simulated world. Mark Raveling has the story. For people who mind the train, could this train the mind? Can building up confidence in a virtual world give people the reassurance to take a step back into reality? Well, this London tube is in fact based here at the Warnford Hospital in Oxford, where a team have just won four million pounds to develop this technology. Virtual reality, which they hope might be able to help people with severe mental health problems. And the dream is that one day it may become standard practice on the NHS. Virtual reality uh, treatments are potentially transformative for people. Uh, what they do, you can take people back into the situations that trouble them and coach them how to overcome their problems. And what we find is that the learning that you make in VR transfers to the real world. But people with strong fears are much happier going into virtual simulations because they, not, they know they're not real. The project offers virtual scenarios aimed at tackling a range of anxieties, including enclosed spaces, being in public and even heights. Run by 15 different organisations across the country, including Oxfordshire NHS Trust and Oxfordshire University, it's hoped the software will not only allow users to safely face their fears, but a virtual coach could help with the UK's lack of psychiatrists. Meet Nick. One technique that you could try is to imagine you're someone who is super confident around heights. Research shows that mixed anxiety and depression is the most common mental disorder in Britain, with 7.8% of people meeting criteria for diagnosis. It's estimated to be the cause of 20% of days lost from work, and as many as 10% of people in England will experience depression in their lifetime. Once a patient has used the technology, they will be monitored to see how well they re-engage with society. But in order for this to be achieved, bespoke virtual scenarios have been designed for various mental health problems with meticulous attention to detail. Following their £4 million investment, the team will now begin tests on patients across the country. It's hoped success would see NHS use of their virtual world become a reality. Matt Graveling, BBC South Today.